Hey all, it's Brandon. Uh, I'm going to record a live blitz game. I tried to record uh, a couple earlier with uh, Pi Walker Matt, but I screwed something up and the audio wasn't going through. So I'm going to try to hope the audio goes through with this one. Um, kick my butt in those two games. It's uh, a lot more difficult to play and talk at the same time than I thought it was. So anyway, hopefully I'll make a good showing here. Um, Ready? All right, so let's play f4. Let's play the polar bear system. He plays knight f6. It's gonna fiend kettle that bishop. So far, we're we're in the main line of the polar bear system, as uh, developed by Henrik Danielson. It's a it's sort of a reverse Leningrad Dutch defense. Play c3, e3, or excuse me, c3, d3, and e4 as soon as possible. Um, a lot of a lot of people consider the the bird opening f4 uh, uh, a little unsound at the highest levels of chess anyway. But uh, you know this is certainly not the highest levels of chess, so you, know, you can get away with playing pretty much any opening. Uh, here, it's going to feed Keto as bishop. Also, uh, this one. And that puts a little bit more pressure on uh, e4. So I'm going to play queen here. And uh, let's see, can I play e4 to take that? No, I'm going to have to get one more piece out to e4 in order to play e4. So I'm going to put my knight here. So the e4 takes, takes. Yeah, so I can play e4 now, and if he takes, I'll obviously retake. No, he plays e5, uh, e5 himself, so I'll grab that. And what to do with this dark square bishop? Uh, maybe... Maybe I play here for now, and maybe Fee and Keto it, and at some point, yeah, we're going to do some exchanges here. Now we have the isolated e-pawn, which is, um, a little annoying to play with, you have to sort of watch it because it can't be guarded by any other piece. This is an interesting queen move. Um, he's hitting a pawn. He's hitting this pawn here. So, what to do about it? Where else can the queen go? Are my pieces all protected? Yes. I can develop and protect the pawn at the same time. Even on time, almost exactly. So we're just waiting on his decision here. Um, I think it would be a good idea. Okay, now he's got two attackers on this knight, and I have only one defender. So I have to either get that knight out of there or defend it again. Oh no, I have two defenders on it, so I'm okay for now. So at the moment, I'm going to get rid of this annoying knight. bring his rook down, and also open up another defender on this pawn, just in case I need to do that. Hitting his queen, I think he has to take with the rook, yeah. So, can I now play this with tempo, hitting his rook and his knight twice? So he'll have to move his rook back to this square here. Because he won't have, otherwise he won't have enough defend this move. Did I miscalculate or did he drop a rook? Is he willing to give up the exchange here? Where can he go? Queen down? 
No. Well, let's see. Maybe that was just a blunder on his part. And now, of course, I'm hitting his knight twice. Uh, he's going to drop this knight if he doesn't uh, do something about that. Either protect it with the queen or the rook. But I may just trade it anyway, because when you're up in material, even just in exchange, then uh, it's good to trade material. Works, works better for you in an endgame. I don't want to take his queen here with my queen because I don't want his rook coming down to the seventh rank. Uh, what is he doing here? I can. This isn't attacking anything. I can just win this knight and hit his rook, maybe. And now we take the bishop. And I'm up a clean rook. Uh, yeah, now, now I have a threat of rook to to d1. Well, he's hitting this pawn three times, um, but not really. I'm okay giving up a pawn here. So get the queen out of there. getting the queen out of this file, off of this file. Where can she go? Where can she go? Um, she's in some trouble here. I guess maybe she has, does she have to come here? Yeah, that's the only square she has. And now can I trap the queen with rook here? Does that trap his queen? I think, yeah, I don't think he has any squares here if I play the can't go anywhere around here can't get out because of the pawn he can't go down on this rank he can't go to this rank and my queen is covering and my rook are covering these two squares so I think maybe I've trapped his queen here unless there's something I'm not seeing he's thinking Thinking, Just trying to find a way out of it. Yeah, this is fine. This just loses another rook for him. So now I have two rooks and a bishop for his bishop. So this game is over. All it takes is a little bit of technique on my part here. And yeah, so he resigned. So a better showing for me in this game. And uh, you know, thankfully, because he kicked my butt in the first two games. Um, so hope you all enjoyed that, and uh, thanks for watching.